No, I mean, they're pretty accurate. You know, you walk into a jiu-jitsu gym, you see how weird that shit is. Your friends talk about it. You listen to how weird it is. It sounds to you. That's You're going to be pretty damn accurate with your instinctual thoughts. But obviously, there's something good there because everyone gets addicted to it. All right. They hang in there. So, okay. So let's just say if somebody has no desire to compete in actual tournaments, but they're actually looking to find a discipline or a fighting style that... They just want to be able to feel like they can protect themselves when they go out in public kind of thing. What do you think are the top three skills to learn in descending order of importance? For someone that's like trying to learn to defend themselves in the streets, I mean, I guess like uh, avoiding dangerous situations and stuff, like the bad, the most obvious stuff. I like guess. plan properly. Yeah, planning your... <laughs> planning, the number one. Seeing how drunk you get and stuff like that. But if it's like... A, unavoidable you know like i mean it's really you're just going to save you but it depends mm -hmm. how many guys how many people you're battling against here like do they have weapons and stuff like that like in terms of a street fight oh man it's tough like obviously if you're training a sports jiu-jitsu environment you're still going to develop that physical wrestling strength it's mm -hmm. different you know like uh, guys that lift a ton of weights still come into the gym and although they feel strong in certain areas yeah. They're not wrestling strong. So no matter how you train jiu-jitsu, whether it's sports focused or not, as long as you're like wrestling hard every day, it gives you a certain type of strength that I think would transition very well to any sort of physical altercation. Because it's like, obviously you look at jiu-jitsu, oh, these bunch of gay guys pulling guard, but uh, they're not going to do that in a yeah. street fight <laughs> environment, you know? Yeah. So, okay. So if we were going to say the most important if we're going to talk about boxing, wrestling, like all the different disciplines you could be focusing on, you would start with? I mean, honestly, I would probably start with wrestling because okay. those guys generally have the most athletic gifts in terms of being difficult to control. Mm. You know what I mean? So if someone grabbed them, if someone started to throw a punch, they could take him down quite easily, control that. 